Welcome to another episode of On the Road WHCA. And uh, today we travel to the Whitman VFW Post 697 to the John J. Burnett Pavilion. This is the home for the Whitman Area Toy Drive where folks can drop off their toys. Today we're going to speak with Donnie Westhaver as this is a special edition of On the Road, your holiday edition. We're going to learn about the Area Toy Drive in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. As promised, we are inside the John J. Burnett Pavilion, and this is where all of the work is being done by Mr. Westhaver and many who were involved with this year's 13th annual Whitman Area Toy Drive. How's it going? Nice to see you, my friend. Yeah, nice being seen. <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me a little bit. First and foremost, talk to us about the origin of this very special toy, toy drive. All right, uh, 13 years ago, uh, we started with uh, the Toys for Tots program through the Marine Corps. Uh, we learned back then that the Toys for Tots program did not take care of children in the immediate community. Uh, so we, second year, we changed it to Whitman Area Toy Drive, mm. where we take care of Whitman, Abington, Rockland, East Bridgewater, Hanson, uh, basically the Tri-Town areas, uh, families, and, uh, it started off with a couple of tables, uh, a couple of dollars, you know, in order to, su to, su to supply the tables with more toys, to 10 tables, here we are in our 13th year, with about 50 tables full of all kinds of goods uh, from uh, infants right on up to 14, 15, 16 year olds. I have to ask you, what motivates you every year, and you and the volunteers, because I know, I know that there's a team effort working here, to, to keep this going? Because it isn't something that you guys just wake up, you know, the first day of December and go, okay, this from what I understand is a year-round type of thing, right? Absolutely. Uh, motivation is knowing that we're helping support families in need, especially in our own community. That's the biggest motivation. Uh, what we're doing year-round now, not just the toy drive, but we're gonna get into some summer programs also where we take care of families that are in need, uh, maybe uh, barbecues, cookouts, senior citizens, uh, having a dinner for them out here, maybe some bingo games. So it's going far beyond this. This has gotten so good now, so big, with the help of so many, uh, especially from the uh, uh, Facebook a uh, aspect, when uh, Whitman Pride, Whitman Uncensored, got a lot of families jumping on now that are willing to help us out. So with that help and support, uh, we can go even farther than we're going right now. I guess I would ask you, and that is, how has this evolved? I'm sure that the first couple of years, you might have been lucky to have four or five tables, mm -hmm. and you were kind of wondering how you were going to be able to do this. Where you, would the supply meet the demand, vice versa? How has it changed? Because looking and doing a tour, which we're actually going to do at, uh, at towards the after we get done talking here, mm -hmm. is is that you have it so well laid out? It's incredible. Yeah, well, it, the the organization I got strong year after year. We started learning what we should do and what we shouldn't do. Mm. Uh, we started uh, uh, to the point where we had so many toys, and 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 the the immediate need was so many that we decided to do it by age and gender. In other words, we were able to do uh, infants to one uh, on the on the girl side, on gender right on up to uh, the teenagers, and the same with the boys. So you see that as we go along exactly what we got going here mm -hmm. and how we organize this. Uh, and especially with the woman's touch, thank God for them, the women come down. I let them have at it. They know exactly where the, where the tables are and how it should be laid out. So without their help, uh, I probably would have a hard time. But the organizations over the years that have supported us, that's what keeps us going, the mm -hmm. money and, and the support of, uh, the monetary support and, and the toy drive support has just it's been incredible. And from what I understand is, is while what folks may see uh, in a few minutes, they may go, oh my goodness, why would they ever, why would they need any more donations? From what you've explained to me, mm -hmm. there's an ebb and a flow to this, that what, what we may see, may be seeing here now, right. will, will, you know, be given away, and that, that, that you'll need to replenish this right. 
on right. a regular basis. And actually, you, you've got such a good donor base right now and good connections with with uh, organizations mm -hmm. that you're able to be when when you're low on toys, you can replenish what you have. Right. It, it, it's uh, we, we like to do, we call it like the evaporation factor. What will happen is uh, I have 37 families right now, and when I go home today, I'm sure there's going to be more phone calls. Mm. So with the 37 families, if, if it, it could be anywhere from one child up to six, so you, you may be looking at 100 kids already just alone just for today mm. uh, going into next week. So when they come in and they start picking out the toys that they need here, and they'll pick out, this isn't a one toy stop. That's, that's what you have to understand. Right. They come in, if, they, if, they, if there's three kids in the family, for instance, they can pick out two, three toys, and then we send them down the back, pick out a game or two. So what you're seeing here today, uh, in retrospect, within a week, will be down to almost nothing, maybe 25% of the table. But as we take out toys from the toy drive, uh, uh, drop-off boxes, it will replenish those tables back to where they are right now. So it goes up, it goes down. It looks great to be able to see the same say, wow, that's going to take care of a lot of families, which it will. It will, but we have a lot more families that will be coming and running behind them, so we're going to have to replenish these tables again. Uh, that's how big this has gotten. Where, where do you, if, let's say if there is somebody who is watching this right now, mm -hmm. they're saying, oh my goodness, I, I would like to help this out. Yeah. What do you, what, I, is it more or less you're looking for financial, or are you looking for, are you looking for toys, and if somebody has, they, they have gone out and they've purchased mm -hmm. toys, and they're like, hmm, I'd like to donate this. Right. Where do you have those drop boxes distributed? Uh, throughout town, we have them at uh, Marcello's, we have them at Damien's and Hanson, uh, O'Rourke Insurance, uh, Joe and uh, Denise Goldberry's uh, studio has one. Uh, Rockland Trust Bank has one, plus we have an account at Rockland Trust, so if somebody wants to make a monetary donation, they can write out a check to the Whitman Area Toy Drive and bring it up to Rockland mm -hmm. uh, Trust there, or they can mail it to my house uh, in the name of the Whitman Area Toy Drive and I'll deposit it there. Those monies, again, goes to buying toys and gift certificates. And that's the other thing. It's not just toys. We give our gift certificates also. We have food certificates now to Tucci's Market. Our adage is you can't eat a toy, so some of these families need a dinner too. Sure. So we'll give them uh, certificates to Tucci's uh, to... Uh, go and get what they need. Uh, some families are even involved with the uh, the food pantry and where they, the food pantry may not be able to supply some of their food. We try to fill in the spots there too. Uh, with Walmart, they can go over and get things that we can't supply here, if we, you know, and uh, they may want uh, a sweatshirt, let's say, for a teenager uh, that we don't have over in the uh, clothes table. Well, here's a $25 or $50 certificate to Walmart. Go and see if you can find something for them, and they can do their own shopping that way. So it's multifaceted, multifunction. Uh, we try to think of every angle possible that we can to make everybody's Christmas a happier one and try to try to supply the wish list, if you will. If we can't supply the wish list, then there's something here that they're going to take home and put under the tree. Yeah, i got to ask, and it's probably simpler for the younger the child... Yeah easier it is for you to get donations but right. there, I'm sure that there's an age range that you're like we can't get enough items to be able to take care of this group but folks maybe overlook that group absolutely what would that what would that range well, be? well that would be from uh, 10 to 14 to 15 is where we have a tough time supplying for them uh, the zero to nine for both boys and girls are pretty good. That's what we get from the drop boxes. When we mm. empty those drop boxes, those are the tables that fill up from the zero to nine and maybe even ten. Uh, what we do with the monetary donations that we get, we go over to Franklin Sporting Goods, and I can show you that uh, shortly if we, we walk down. Do that. And I'll show you how that works, and I'll show you the game table, uh, how that works also. That's where the monetary monies come in and, and exactly where we go for those donations and how we can make a dollar stretch out to five or six dollars as far as toys are concerned. So. Uh, I, I got I to gotta ask you, and it's funny you, you mentioned that, because that, that will be part of our conversation later when we are walking, because it isn't ne necessarily just <coughs> toys, but you have mm -hmm. an array of things, toys. You have sports for the, you know, for the boy or girl who mm -hmm. are involved with sports. You have clothing. You have board games, right. stuff like that. Right. I mean, is, is there anything that you wish you had more of, or do you feel that you, you're... You know, that it, 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 it comes and goes. It, yeah, it comes and goes. Uh, I'd like to have more of the, the teenage items, obviously, because that's, again, that's where we lack. Mm. I'm not saying we can't take care of them, but uh, it would go a lot farther if we can get somebody uh, to look at, have that mindset that that's where we need 
our help here in the toy drive is that age group. If they can't find something, again, that's where the money will come in. We will get them gift certificates, or we'll try to get the wish list if they're looking for something in particular, a sporting item or a clothing item. We'll either get it for them or to give them the, uh, the mom or dad a certificate so they can go out and buy their own uh, item, whatever they, whatever it is they want. So we, we try to help them that way. I'm sure that over time, and you, while you've had a lot of an outpouring of support from the folks mm -hmm. in the community of Whitman and maybe even surrounding communities, right. that uh, there, there are some organizations, some groups, some businesses that have been extra special and el extra helpful in the cause, correct? Oh, you bet. Uh, we have the Mother's Club. I can't say enough about them. And, and, and you know, when you think about the Mother's Club, uh, they're a bunch of moms, so they know where it's at, you know, sure. as far as what they need for their children. So <laughs> they've been our biggest uh, and longest supporter over the years. Thank God for them. Uh, the Whitman VFW Men's Auxiliary have jumped on. We've made this sort of a military event, you know, and I didn't even mention that. We take care of military families also, you know, the moms and dads are serving the country and their, their grandparents or their brothers and sisters are taking care of those kids. So they need that extra support. So we're there to support them also. Uh, the American Legion, uh, both the Sons of the American Legion and American Legion Post have been very good uh, monetary-wise. And there's uh, some plumbing outfits here in town like O'Leary's and, and uh, 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 just uh, there's so many. I'm, I'm afraid of missing, you know. And, and that's okay. And it, uh, hopefully, hopefully folks will realize that, you know, you're kind of, we're here, we're not on a script. It's not <laughs> yeah. anything that's yeah, all yeah, right no, now. I, so I, it's off the top of the head. So if anybody is forgotten if you are somebody who might have been yeah, no, right or, or if you are somebody who has who has donated it's very much appreciated and, and yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. sure that goes without saying yeah the, it does I mean get uh, uh Kristen Nelson Ross for instance yeah. through uh, Reebok which she does through Reebok as far as sporting goods goes and, and the clothes has been phenomenal uh, they believe in us they know what, what we're doing now so they've uh, been a, a, a great support of us uh, in the community the fire department union has been a great support uh, uh, single single individuals give me two or three hundred dollars. Fred Fred Small the other day turned around and said, "School committee man, yeah, right? Real real guy, good guy." And, and Michelle Mino Gromman. I mean, I can uh, keep going on name names again. I know I'm going to forget some, and it's mm. not my intentions. I'm sorry, but I do have you down, you know, in in my donor book that we have. And uh, later on, when it hits the newspaper, we will tell everybody exactly who the donor, is, who the uh, who had donated the money to toys, uh, so people know that because I think they. Uh, deserve that respect. Okay. Let's let's talk about some of the folks that that are part of this besides yourself. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you have. There's a group of folks, and again, it's no intention if you overlook. Ho okay. you'll, hopefully, you remember everybody. Yeah. But I'm sure there's a lot of key key players who, where it, you you don't have to be worried about the only one who goes. Oh well, I got to set this table up, or I got to do that, or I got to organize this, or I got to go mm -hmm. drop off a box. Yeah. I'm sure you have a group of folks who have been very diligent and are kind of like an extension of you. Oh, you bet. You know, it, and it's not its not me, it's not I, it's about we. I understand that, yeah. Okay, and, and, and that's why I said that. Exactly, mm -hmm. and, and I appreciate that you said that because I, I don't want to overlook that. I have partners involved here too, behind the scenes that are not here today because they're probably out doing something else. Correct. Uh, Jim uh, McDonald from Essex Street Storage Shed uh, in North Tavern now in Plymouth, he's been with me right from the get-go. Jack uh, Lenosi from Marcello has been with me right from the get-go. Mm. Uh, he's got a, a big box up there that fills up once or twice a day. That's a big support up wow. there alone. Uh, Jane Ploss just jumped on with me two, three years ago after her. Yeah, she uh, just left a couple of minutes ago before yep. we started shooting. Yeah, her yeah. husband was the former uh, lieutenant from the fire department right here right on yep. passed away. Uh, came looking for something to do to keep her mind occupied. She joined up and she saved that saved her Christmas that year. She's been with us ever since. So I have four partners. Now, if you're talking about the community at large, there are a lot more people. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. so those, are, those are the main people as far as uh, uh, partners are concerned. But you have other people that come in here every day, day in and day out, that will help set up this table. And I have a list of them. Uh, again, social media, this media here, uh, uh, Facebook, the papers. You know, they get out there, they, they're out there telling people what we do down here. And people are calling me, what can I do to help? What can I do to help? Mm. Uh, donating all kinds of things, coming down, donating time. It goes on and on and on. And that's what makes our job here a lot easier, makes this toy drive run the way it runs. And thank God for the times people are Whitman. You know, I just, I can't say enough. I, I have to, I have to, we'll, we'll reiterate this towards the end of the program, yep. but just so folks who are just tuning in, we are here talking with Donnie Westhaver about the Whitman Area Toy Drive, which is in its 13th year of, of 
giving back to the community. If folks want to, if there's a way that they want to either get involved with you, mm -hmm. uh, if let's say if they know somebody in need, if they know children who are in need, mm -hmm. or if they want to make some kind of a monetary donation, how can they either get in touch with uh, you and your group or if they wanted to, I would think that there's some kind of an account set up right. at a local banking institution. Right, right. Uh, uh, Rockland Trust, under the name of the Whitman Area Toy Drive for monetary money, okay. or myself, uh, they can send it to 151 Pine Street. Uh, I am listed, I'm Johnny West Area, and uh, I'll make sure that that money gets to the bank. I, again, just make it up to Whitman Area Toy Drive, that's our account. Um, uh, they can call Jack Linosi again from Marcellus. Like I said, my other partner, he's generally around. He's out of town right now doing business. Uh, and Jim and Jane, uh, there's, there's quite a few people. If they want to get in touch with me, and I don't know how. I am on Facebook. They can friend me. They, we have the Whitman Area Toy Drive okay. page also on Facebook. Okay. Uh, that's another way. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to step aside here on, uh, on the road with WHCA. And when we come back, we're going to take a little bit of a tour and take a look at what these folks have done to not only set everything up so if somebody came in here, it's very easy to know what's what and uh, you get to see the organization, the skills that they have right here on, on the road WHCA. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we're starting somewhat at the back end of all that is collected here, uh, thanks to the folks who have donated. And we start, were you talking a lot about toys? But also you have a lot of donations in regards to clothing as well, correct? Right, we have sporting clothing down this end here uh, from Reebok, uh, Chris Nelson Roth, like I said. Mm, These hats. toys, yep, hats, uh, all kinds of things, sweatshirts. We have uh, even pajamas. And then as you come up, this end here, this is just a local donation for people who went to the store and said, uh, I bought this and I'd like to donate it to the, uh, to the toy drive. So uh, we put it on the table. Uh, all sizes from infants right on up to uh, teenagers. So that's a, that's a good catch. Plenty of t-shirts, by the way, with some great sayings on it. Um, and as we come up here, we, uh, this table here is all coloring books. You can get your coloring books here, you can get your, uh, Stocking your stuffers. crayons, yeah, that type of thing, you know, so awesome. we, pr we bring them right over here in case they're looking for the house, they don't have to actually look at a table, we can direct uh, you, them. You actually have more than, and I, I said the key word that you that you were kind of very, very, yep. you know, uh, on top of, and that is that you also offer, you have stocking stuffers on top of that. On top of that also, and that's usually the last thing going out the door, door that we right. give to them, you know, we say, by the way, if you have uh, some stocks. Uh, that you're putting on your mantle, sure. and you want to fill it up. We got things for that too. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't stop there. Now over here we yep. have uh, we have a heck of a selection as right. far as games. Yep. Let's uh, take a walk over here. I see all kinds of popular board games, all age appropriate. Right. Uh, talk to me about some of the stuff that we see here now. Sure. That, that uh, seems to be the popular stuff. Yep. Uh, the most popular is going to be on this table here, but I. Uh, Checkers is always popular. Mm. Last year it was Duck Dynasty, of course, because the uh, the television it's program. Huge. Uh, it was real huge, and uh, we're probably going to get some more this year because we know it's going to go down. I think we had maybe 30 or 40 of these last year, and that's exactly what's left from last year. There's only one, so we'll, we'll wind up filling that table up. You got checkers here. You got your young uh, from infants right on up to uh, family type board games here. Monopoly. Monopoly, uh, and even right over here. Right over here is all your Monopoly tables. Uh, uh, when I say all, there's uh, four or five different Monopoly games out now. It's not like yep. what it was when we were kids. Which it's is just one, one particular yeah, game. One game. Right. So there's like five or six different type of Monopolies. And it's geared to, if you look at this, you'll see that this Monopoly is actually geared to a younger, uh, uh, a younger sect than it is for somebody that might be a teenager coming come to here. Sure. And then getting into the uh, adult Monopoly as you go a little bit higher. Popular um, Frozen. Frozen. I know that's, you know... I'm sure parents can't get enough stuff frozen. It's such a popular Disney movie yeah, that's that right. folks and are probably saying, oh, that's that's something that I think that'll keep them busy for. And we stocked up in this, and I think the, the great thing about this frozen one here, rather than just give them one of each, uh, we get a great deal on this uh, where there's actually three different types mm. of games in one. So rather than have them take one, they say, take the whole three. So if something that's really into Frozen, that's where you want to be at. Uh, also, Scrabble, always a big thing. Um, over here, the Sorry Games go very well, yep. and Trouble, those are your pop-up games. Uh, uh, four people can play, very uh, family-oriented. And uh, 
more monopoly over here. As you come down here, these neon uh, checkers and chess games are supposed to be a very big popular ride this year. I went and got them at five below. They said, you want to you wanna stock up in these because that's what they're going to get. Popular. So we have people out there in the industry that actually tells me what's going to go. Okay. So uh, and That's so a big help for you. It's been a tremendous help. Even these here in Trivial Pursuit, big well, Star Wars, seeing that Star Wars 7 is coming out. Big time. This is going to be huge. Big time. So. Let's talk sports. You got yeah. a, a whole, we had uh, touched upon it briefly when we were talking earlier. Right. A lot of sporting goods items for both boys and girls. Explain. Well, here, if somebody turned around and said, yeah, well, my daughter is, uh, is five years old, my son's three, mm. what do you have for sporting goods in that area? Well, we bring them down here. These are like Nerf balls, Nerf bats, so they don't have to worry about hurting themselves. So we think safety, too, Power also blast, for the child, yep. and things like that. So all the things on this table here are for the younger ones in the sports mm. area. We picked up a bunch of bags yesterday, Bruins, Red Sox, uh, Patriots. Patriots. So it's, all, uh, it's supposed to be a big guy this year. Kids can put things in there. They can put yeah, their little backpacks, books. little small little, ones. They're really nice. Absolutely. They're, they're, they're really nice. Uh, uh, the other thing I want to make mention of is uh, we look at special needs kids also because there's certain things you have to get sure, for special needs sure. that you can't get off those tables down there. And uh, like these ball fences, very, uh, very soft, very pliable, and things like that. Uh, there are a lot of things that won't hurt them if they're looking for those type of uh, games. But uh, special needs are so strong now, and the kids are so smart that uh, they can get into other things. Uh, so we look at it every, every fast, and nobody's left out here. Get on up here, obviously the dot boards, that's a yep. great thing. All these games here, you know, when you start looking at that, uh, pinball. Uh, I'd like to move, if you want to see some more. Sure, stuff, I'd like I to actually, move what I'd way. like to do is, is let's kind of look at the central. You've got it set up like if this was a department store, it'd be fantastic. Right. Uh, I want to give folks a chance to kind of a, a bird's eye view of the way you got it set up here. Talk to me about what, you th what the thought process was for setting this up as we walk through. Okay, because we're actually going backwards, like you said, which is probably the best way to show the mm. people what our needs are, this is the teenage area that we're talking about. Okay. We, we, try, to, we try to really load up in the teenagers uh, because we don't have enough for the, for the teenagers. We have plenty for the zero to maybe nine or 10. And I know I'm repeating myself, but it's, the only reason why I'm doing that is to show you the severity of what we sure. need and where we're hurting. So this here is what we were able to pick up so far, which is pretty good. This yeah. is good teenage stuff. Um, and this table the same way. Uh, if you look at it, the gender is, is all left right. On this side we have all women, girls from the teenagers. Uh, on the left side that I just showed you over here is all yep. boys. Um, popular items, uh, I guess the, the ladder pillowcases. So we got a bunch of them yesterday. Really? Um, oh, the bright light pillowcases? Bright light, yeah. Very and nice. uh, Arts and crafts, uh, we understand, is a big thing this year. So we've got an arts and crafts table. If somebody says, uh, my daughter's into arts and crafts, I know exactly where we're going to send them. We're going to send them right down here. This is the table you want to concentrate on. If what about up here? I noticed, uh, the one thing I have noticed uh, that's a, kind of a theme yep. as we keep moving forward, I see the little frozen uh, little frozen uh, stuffed animals. Are those a big item? Is frozen? Is, it's a huge item. I mean, how cool is it to see something that a, a kid's going to say, that's yep. exactly what I wanted, you yep. know, especially something that's popular. Uh, TV's a big thing. We look at the top 10, 20 toys that are out there. Yeah, Frozen is, is by far the biggie this year and a few other things that Disney's mothers doing have very well. called me and told me about, you know. Yep. Uh, speaking of Frozen, let's look the at this here. Magnetic scenes, yep. Uh, more games, more pop-up games. Uh, it, it's, it's geared to uh, a younger and older culture, which is great. I mean, I've had... A woman telling me uh, she's 21 years old and even she still likes these. So that made me feel good. Maybe the that collectibles, could, right? Could okay. be. And, and again, uh, pinball machines for women. Everything's pink. It's not always for guys. Right? Yep. We have uh, the, the lounge thing for, for the kids now on the women over there. How about, how about up more towards the, the front of the, the, what's some of the more popular things that we're seeing up here for the younger, for the for the seven to nine or for yeah. the, the five to seven. What are we seeing? Uh, Legos. Legos is huge. Are they uh, huge? It's still huge. Uh, now I guess G.I. Joe is coming out again. So uh, G, uh, the, the Legos are coming in. By the way, if anybody's looking to fill these tables up, Legos, we all can use Legos. Bring them on down. We'll take those. Um, action so, figures, I would think. Action Maybe figures, some of uh, like uh, the Hulk. Transformers. 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 Yeah, Transformers is a big one. Um, they're still into the uh, matchbox and, and those type of things for the boys. Yeah, actually, we see up here we have a track town. That's right. A, uh, it looks like it's a popular thing that, yep. you, as you said, uh, hot, kind of a Hot Wheels type yep. of a and Yeah, and a we, have a, we have a lot of Hot Wheels. A lot of cars. Uh, that we haven't put up because they're, they're single. So, uh, again, uh, the, the format here, as everybody can see, is... Cooking sets. Uh, 
If you're somebody who likes uh, um, Disney's uh, the, the monster, the Pixar Monsters Inc. or Monsters University and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, and if the stones are dolls and the Bobbies, you look at that area over there. You actually you have a whole the table over up. there. Uh, they take their pick. We also have some winter sports over here for sleds and some uh, some toboggans that the kids can have, especially at the town park mm. and go down the hill. Those things would be great. That one uh, was big time <laughs> last year. Are we having fun yet? We're always having fun. I'm well, having the, a blast the, the, the idea, though, is, is it's so tremendous. And like I, like I said earlier, you may see this, this place is entirely full at the moment, but what happens, what's going to end up happening is, is that all this stuff will be donated to folks who are in need, and they'll need to replenish it. Right. So that's the kind of the purpose is, is to say, look how well it's, it looks right now. Here it is, a you know, number of weeks before Christmas. As we get closer to the to the to the major holiday, yeah. that we're going to see less of these, and that you're going to need that the folks are going to need to be aware of this and to, to con continue giving as they have been doing. You know, to put it in better perspective, please do what you're looking at right here, right now. We'll go through this probably three times. What you see here now will go. It will fill up again like it is right now. It will mm. go again, and probably at least a third time, depending. And I don't know. What, each year is going to bring Kevin. I sure. have no idea. I just know that each year has been more and more so, uh, demand for it, so the supply is, is going to be kept up with that demand. But we'll go through this at least three times, if not four times, and what's left over uh, at the end of the year, we put in boxes, we try to get the table set up again, kind of get a little bit of a head start, yep. and uh, go out and do this all over again. All right, we've got probably less than a minute left. Yeah. Folks want to be able to contact you, or mm -hmm. if they want to help out monetarily or yep. with a toy, how can they do that? Okay, you can contact me, uh, you can call my home phone. I mm -hmm. have an answer machine there. If I'm not there, please leave an answer. Please mm -hmm. leave a message on that machine. It's 781-447-6883. It just ask for Donnie. Uh, a woman's voice will be on there. That's my wife, uh, who, who's no longer with me. She passed away, but I leave it on there. But uh, she loved the toy drive. That's why I did that. Mm -hmm. So you can leave it right there. Uh, leave the message. I will contact you, not okay. a problem. Uh, Rockland Trust, again, is uh, we have an account, the Whitman Area Toy Drive. Yep. You can get us on Facebook uh, under the Whitman Area Toy Drive. You okay. can uh, friend me on Facebook. Just go into Donnie West here and want to friend I, I'm friends with everybody. I'll friend you. Donnie, <laughs> thank you so much, you yeah. and, and all the folks who are involved and the folks who have donated. Sure. Thank you. And remember, it is the season to give. That's another On the Road WHCA. And until next time, have a great day. Merry Christmas.